Hello and welcome to episode 22. 22 of my mega campaign in Starters Order 7. So two horses in the bar are in the um, stables at the moment. The rest are in the field. Let's have a look where I'm going to look at my field. Where's my... There's the racing stable. Where's the field? I've got five horses currently in the field. All running round. He's in the turbo wave. Future races, no. What's the saying? This horse was not always suitable for a race. Yeah, they're just running around. They're having a good time. Click to return this horse to the stable. Nah, no. nah they're all right. Let them run. Let them run around. <laughs> so, in my racing stable, I've got a horse running tomorrow in Newcastle in a bloody maiden. It's a maiden for three rolls that have never won a race. So it's an unusual maiden. It's You, you do see them throughout the year. Um, where tipped is the favourite, I have no idea why. I think it's been done on the rating. Which, by the looks of it, we should actually kill this field. It is a class four. So, I'm hopeful. This is a race we should be winning. If it doesn't win, it's going to the breeding barn, I think. If it does win it, I'll put it in a group three before the end of the season. So this is a big day for Brigadier's Doors. Big day indeed. So, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Right, five to two from 66 to one. <laughs> Paddock, we are moving well, very fit and prompt to go. It's not fantastic, but it's better than coping and all that. Right, tipsters. Three of them have got us, one of them's got Jalaz Shalak. Let's have a look at Jazza, Jazza, Jazza Shalak. It's had two places. It's probably run better than we have. So let's just have a quick look, see what it's been in. It was in a maiden in its last go out. It was in a maiden the time before that. It was in a maiden before that. This is a horse that has had a crack at winning more times than mine has. No, it hasn't. Mine's had a lot of cracks at trying to win a race. Right, this should be it. <laughs> I'm going to uh, check his orders. I want it in the centre. I am going to tell it to go early when it gets the opportunity. It should be better than the other horses. It should run well. It should. Right. Betting. Three to one. So immediately we've gone out of it. <sighs> no one's put any money in this. I don't know what to say about that. It's quite even betting, really. Everyone's had a little punt, but nothing serious. So off we go. Off we go. Night race. Night race. We've run here before. We've run here before. Come on in, babies. I'm on the far side. Good, nice little break. Nice little break. One mile, we should move across. So he's moving all right. I'm going to click early. As soon as it pops up, I'm going to click it. I want it to show some quality. Because if that Jazan Shellac is as good as the punters think it is, then early. If, he, if they think it's as good as the punters, uh, as the tipsters think it is, then it's going to cause problems for me. It's currently there. That's it there. So we're at four, five. I've given the order. With currently the back horse. There's half a mile to go. I'm... Who's the leader? As it opens out. So we should start moving now we should start going right 
so we're trying to follow the others. Go, you peasant, it just hasn't got her. You gutless pig. Look at this horse. What a donkey. What an utter donkey. This horse. Oh, look, he doesn't know who's coming or going. I told you to run in the centre. Oh, my God, it's disgusting. At least, uh, at least we did the favourite. That was a shocking run, that was. See what excuses are going to give me here. I don't want to see that. Get out of my way. <laughs> uh, oh, it came second. What am I talking about? Right. Uh, what happened there? Stranger is just where the horse will be suited by further. We just didn't have the pace to get in. So it's, it wants to run more than a mile. Let's have a look. What did I do to this horse? Yeah, but you still didn't do anything there. You've got exactly the same bloody results, mate. Barn. Out to grass. Too frustrated with you. See you next year. Right. This is Pandora Thought. Pandora Thought is running on the 21st of September in class one listed race this is the foundation stakes now pandorka thor on paper is a better horse than all these other horses and it's not carrying the top weight it also won its last race out the only other horse that worries me is captain risk mind and it hasn't run all season and it will be September when it does start running and it won its last two races last year the other horse that concerns me is slip class because it is placed three times on the trots otherwise the rest of the field should be fair game it should be fair game there's something about weight rectifier but it's carrying 912 this other one up here has had a few wins, but it's carrying 912. The rating's too high. They've been bracing against better horses. Now, because I'm younger and it's a listed race, and I'm a female, I get to carry 96. This is a race we should be winning. Slip class presents the biggest problem because it is a colt. It has 9-3 on board. So, if I was to pick a horse to be worried about, I'd be worried about Slip Class first and Captain Risk Mine second. But you never know, I could go in and, I don't know, Wake Rex Fire might come in, but I don't think so, not with that on board. So let's go and find out. I think we should be extremely competitive in this race. I think we should be there or thereabouts. Just want to double check what it is. It's one mile two and we've been running one mile twos. We've only gone up by one class. It's not a group race, but we've gone up in class. Likes good ground. I mean, this is Goodwood. This is where we should be running. Right, skip to the 21st of September, and we'll take a look at the betting again, because there'll be plenty of betting between now and then. Uh, let's get to the actual day. What are we on now? The second. Keep stopping for sales, I think. Whenever it gets to a sale, it stops. But yeah, this horse, um, this is a class one race. If we win this race, we should be winning group races. Because there's no difference in the quality of horse running. Should be no difference in the quality of horse running. Let's go and look at the paper. We're still 10 to 3. Captain Risk has come out a long way to 16 to 1. But Slip Class has come into 5 to 1. I'm st oh, he has a, he's had a race before this race. It's, a, it's been declared in two races and it bloody come eighth. But slip class hasn't it? It's had 130 days. So that, oh, look. That's really interesting that they're giving him that. I'm still worried about this horse, but not as much now. What does it do? 
lost by a length and it was a top rated horse carrying 913 in that race. Wow. What's it carrying now? 99. Now wait rectifier. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I'm interested to see that he did that. I don't know why they would have done that. Like a warm up race 25 days ago or something. I don't know what that's about. I wouldn't pick the horse. I might do. When I got more horses, I might do it like that, to be honest. Don't know until you got them. Right, uh, Paddock, we are coping well. Very fit and prone to go. That's not great. He's boiled over. Normal. Boiled over? It means it's kicking. When, boiled, when they say they're boiled over, it means it's kicking. And they've got two blokes on the head of the, of the horse. Hmm. Even Stevens has got me. Slip class twice. Yeah. All right, let's check the betting. Slip class and... Captain Risk Mind, watch that horse. So Slip Class is rated now better than me. And that's because it's male and it's carrying less weight. And that's right, betters will look at that. So, definitely. Captain Risk Mind has come in. Yeah, a little bit of money on there. And this, this, is, this is correct now. After it's come in on the 8th, I still would... If it was real life, I'd stick a tenner on him. In fact, let's do it this way. Uh, max each way. What is that? Yeah, let's do that. I'm betting against my own horse. But I think I think I think Captain Risk Mine will place. So I'm going to submit that. Oh, I've done it twice. Oh, you plonker. <laughs> right. Dear me. <laughs> right. Come on, Captain Risk Mine. <laughs> I'll put my money where my mouth is. I haven't got a lot of it. But I think it will place. Let's have a look. Right, we had a bad break. Captain Risk Mind is the white horse. White silks here. And Slip Class is... What number, what number is Slip Class? Number 11. It's the far horse on the far side there. I'm not going to touch Pandora Cathor. Although I did say go early last time, so I will click early again, because you seem to have a bit of fight at the end there when I did that. So as soon as it comes up, I'll click it. As soon as it shows, about the half, a half mile mark early. So we'll see what she does now. We'll just let her go. I think... A Captain Risk Mine is the one with my money on it, which is why it looks like that. It's there, just stalking my horse. So we come round this bend now on the inside. Slip class is all the way at the back. Yeah. Wake Rectifier. Last year was a good horse. That Captain Risk Mine is moving up. Now, I'll tell you for a start, I'd rather my horse win, go, I'd rather my horse win than, uh, than get money on the place for Captain Risk Mind. But I still feel Captain Risk Mind is a very dangerous horse. Come on. Number 11 now is powering up, there he is. I just need you now to pull something out of the hat. Come on. Come on, are you a fighter or not? Oh my so Captain Risk Mine has died. It shouldn't be running much shouldn't be running this length. It died. Oh, I don't think we're gonna do it. I think we didn't I think we just got picked on the line there. I think we just lost out on that. Let's have a look. Yeah. Just lost out. What a shame. Ah, places again. 
Even post suited, triple suited, the ground suit was perfectly. Didn't have the post for most of the race and ran well considering. Keeps warning me this horse doesn't have it. It's going to the field as well now. How many races did it have? It had five races. It won one, comes second. I'm gonna go a couple of I'm gonna go a couple of days just to see this horse through to the end of the month and then we might look for a group race. It placed again, maybe uh, a so maybe a um, handicap. Let's just have a look at some of the condition of the horses. Still not there, but it might be by the time of the this is the one that's got the problem. It says it's coming. So what, it needs operation? I don't understand. Anyway, we're going to run it one more time. Let's have a look. Pandora Cathor. Oh, God, I've forgotten what bloody thing it is. One mile two. One mile two. Any race type. Let's have a look. The Opera, I don't think so. Oh, with conditions race here. What's it like? It likes good ground, no good. Tempted there. Oh, German race. She got any, any abraders? No. Nope. It's interesting, isn't it? None of them are all that. We're 108 rated still. Fried steaks at Newmarket. Some good horses in there. What's this? Listed, just listed race. Worth raiding for a listed race? Not really. Not paying the money for that. Champion stakes at Ascot. Let's have a look. That's too good for me. Too good for me. Try go stakes. A listed race, not bad. What's the ratings here? 108. It would be the best horse in there. Pre de Floor. No, not good enough for that. The Congi. Don't know that one. Group 3 handicap. 90 grand. Five horses. We would be the second best horse in there. We did, what did we do in Australia last time? What did we do there? We had a third at Doombrun. And that's it. That was a 90 grand race as well. That was the Rough Habit Plate of one mile one. Oh no, we didn't have. Oh yeah, no, it was a one mile two. Yeah, it became third. Then we had a third in another group three. Then we had a one in a class, then we won in a class two. I mean, that's about our thing. We've gone up to class one and we've come second again. We're looking for a class two race, really. These are all class ones. Trying to see more of the Cox Plate. That's a big race, those. These are massive races. What's this one? Doncaster, that's not far from us. Class one, Stokes. Let's have a look. We would be the top weighted. We'd be the top rated horse there, so we'd be carrying the most weight, which would be nine nine, which isn't that bad. It isn't that bad, but I don't feel like in my soul, my heart of hearts, that we could win that race. Looking at say a horse like this one here, Citroen Tipping. Uh, three quarters of a length, what was that? That was a handicap, Cambridgeshire. This is, sorry, where was that? It was at Newmarket. Then this one's at Southwell, comes second by half a length in a one mile one. It won that one by one and three quarter lengths, another handicap. This is a handicap specialist, this is. So, Good enough for that, I don't think so. Look at all those class one winners in there. Blows to bits. 
the Jane Seymour at Newmarket. Let's have a look at some of these. I think maybe this race could do us. There's no out and out fantastic horses here. It's not bad, it's the same sort of money. Uh, we would go for Doncaster and the reason we would go for Doncaster is because it's closer. But I think Citroen Tippins is too good a horse. And in the Jane Seymour, there are no outstanding horses. So we're going to go in the Jane Seymour on the 29th of October. That's my thinking on that one. So we're going to skip through to that. Like so. Just going to go right through 29th. We're going to run this and then 22 days, and then we're going to go to the end of the season. And see what's what. If you're listening to this and you're listening to the music in the background, the music isn't part of the game. I like a bit of jazz sometimes, and so I thought maybe my viewers would like a bit of jazz. Let me know in the comments if you like the jazz as well. If you don't, I can change it up. It's no problem. No problem at all. Right, Jane Seymour, the James Seymour Stakes. We are nine to two favourite. We're carrying nine six with a top rated horse so there was another horse in there about our rating and i think it's dropped out the weight is so much they put that one in at 66 to one but it did come ninth in its last race so we're not the form oh yeah we are the form oh I'm, we're going against slip class again he's coming back for a bit of vengeance here right slip class it is it's coming after us we've already beaten you once mate let's see if you can do it again pandora thought slip class eight to one i just want to see what it says about slip class yeah we beat we beat you it's interesting isn't it that's Captain Risk Mind. I, I lost my money on that. Donkey. See how good I am at gambling? I'm glad he's not in this one. Terrible. Terrible. We'll, 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 skirt, we'll skirt, skirt over me losing my money on that one. Right. Paddock. Where are we? Parading a little lazy. You got a uh, bin on? No. A back. Didn't know that. Right. Tipsters. One of them. Desperate blank. Why do they fancy that off? What's it been running in? Class one. The Stevert and Stokes, that's the feature race. Okay. Another Midsummer Stokes. That's in this race as well. And this one. What was this for? Oh, it's the current holder of this thing. So last year it won this race. It's the current champion. It's coming to defend its title. Right. Bookmakers love that. They big that up. It makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. In my opinion, they, in my in my opinion, I don't think it makes a blind blind bit of difference. Yeah, it is market okay. So these horses have all raced together before at some point. It's interesting, isn't it? Jockey orders down the middle. Let's stick on the betting. I like this horse because it's going carrying nine. 
I think that's why the tipsters like it. Another, another, no, they like it. Slip class is coming up. Ooh, at the last second, Desperate Blank has joined us as joint favourite. Interesting. Right, no more talking. Come on, James. Come on, the James. Sip of my drink is traditional. Right, the July course. Brackets. Got to get churned up, you see. The courses get horribly churned up and they have to move them about. And then they, they have to give them almost a year sometimes. Sometimes they fallow them out completely and they're completely overgrown. And they don't touch them for a year or two and then they have to go into the jockey club and notify them that they've had to move the whole course to about 10 metres to the right. That's not a bad course. Come on, babies. Right, shocking break. That's my horse there. It nearly fell out of the bloody uh, thing. We're creeping along at only 31 as well. 29, that's shocking. 30. Could I not? God, that's no good. That pace is no good for us. We've got to click early just to bloody get this horse going. That's no good. 32 is no good. We want 33 min. Come on. Pick the pace up. Pick the pace up. Come on. Come on. Not fast enough. Go early. God, I'm almost, clicked to, I'm almost tempted to click go now. The pace is absolutely shocking. I'm hoping that when it gets to the third furlong, it will just open up. He's holding it up now so it doesn't go in front. He's letting the others catch up. Oh, he's breaking my heart. I don't think... Well, I can't tell at this stage. What's he doing? Number nine is the leader from number seven and number eight. I've told you to go. Go early. Go. Go. He was always sitting right on the damn thing. Number five has the advantage. Come on. I need you to put your foot down. and You need to be doing 37. Number seven, eight. Yeah, it's a bit early now. Oh my god. Come on! It's, it, I just get the feeling he's running this all wrong. Oh, so now oh, he's got to hold this pace now, 35, 36, and now we're going slightly uphill. Slip class is going to beat us. We beat this horse last time out. We need to over, overtake him. Come on! Oh, we're not doing it, are we? <coughs> oh, my Lord. Oh, he's not going to do it. Second place to a horse we beat in the fourth last time. I don't know what the hell the jockey was doing there. Did you see him take the foot off the pedal for a second there? That has really upset me. <laughs> I want to see the form book. What was he carrying? Nine, three, nine, six. Yeah, I suppose. It's a younger horse, it's carrying less, and it's a male. So, that's why you have handicaps. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Even post two, the blue chips we played, always enjoyed the ground. We were just beginning to pick up towards the end. One mile free? Doesn't matter. I think that's your season done. That's six races for a four-year-old. That's about right. It's a, you could argue that's over-raced for a four-year-old. A five or six-year-old, no problem. I've seen five and six-year-olds have ten races in the year. They're half dead by the end of the year, and they sometimes don't even run them the year later. They just run them into the ground, or they start studying them if they had a good season. Mm, that's up to me, really. I'm the trainer. Anyway... I am now going to whisk past to the end of the season. We've had this episode on now for 30 minutes. And I'll tell you what, I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching. I really do appreciate it. See you later, guys. Bye.